To configure a VPN IPsec tunnel in Netgear Insight, you can follow these steps. Begin by selecting the router you want to establish the IPsec connection with. Double tap the router and navigate to the network configuration page. Choose IPsec to access the IPsec configuration page. Start by selecting the IPsec profiles page and click on the add button to create a new IPsec profile. Give the profile a name for later identification. Select the appropriate Internet Key Exchange Ike version based on your network requirements. Configure the Phase 1 options by selecting the DH group from the available options dropdown. This group determines the strength of the encryption during the Phase 1 key exchange. Choose an encryption algorithm for Phase 1 communication. Under Authentication, select the authentication method to verify the identities of IPsec communication during Phase 1. Next, set the security association lifetime, which determines how long the connection is valid before expiring. Proceed to configure the Phase 2 options, such as selecting the Encapsulating Security Payload (ESP). Next, select the encryption method, the authentication method, and the SA lifetime for Phase 2. Remember to set the SA lifetime value in seconds. By default, the value is 28,800 seconds. Also, set the DH group for Phase 2 if the value differs from the Phase 1 DH group. Click Add to save the IPsec profile and wait a few seconds for the settings to apply. You will return to the IPsec Profiles page. To configure a site-to-site -site configuration with provided IPsec profile, click the Site-to-Site -site tab and click the Add to Site-to-Site -site button to create a new site-to-site -site connection. Enable the Site-to-Site -site connection, which is enabled by default. Provide a name for the Site-to-Site -site connection for easy identification. Select the IPsec profile from the drop-down menu, which will determine the encryption and authentication settings. Choose the IPsec profile that was created under the IPsec Profiles page. Select the interface for the connection. Configure the remote endpoint by selecting the appropriate remote endpoint type. Enter the corresponding address or domain name. Next, add the pre-shared key for the Internet Key Exchange authentication for both the local and remote endpoints. Configure the local endpoint by selecting the local identifier type, either the local WAN IP, local IP address, or local domain name. Specify the local IP subnet type by adding the local IP address and subnet mask range that will be accessible across the VPN tunnel. Next, configure the remote endpoints by selecting the remote identifier type, either the remote WAN IP, remote IP address, or remote domain name. Specify the remote IP subnet type by adding the remote IP address and subnet mask range that will be accessible across the VPN tunnel. By default, the DPD options is enabled. Set the DPD delay to determine the duration to wait between probing messages as well as the detection time to determine if the tunnel is dead. Select the DPD action to take when the tunnel is declared dead. Save the site-to-site -site connection by clicking the Add button. After saving the configuration, it may take up to 3 minutes for the settings to be applied. Click the Refresh button to view the updated status of the VPN tunnel. Repeat the same steps on the remote endpoint router to configure the IPsec tunnel. Once correctly configured, the IPsec tunnel will be established between the local and remote endpoint.